Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me on the north coast of Ireland. So I'm on the Antrim coast. I'm at a place called Ballantoy. And just arrived here actually now from our long journey from Cork in the bottom of Ireland all the way to the top. And if you haven't seen it actually, I'll link to that episode here if you want to view that journey that we took from a seven year, but now have just arrived here and what a beautiful spot this is. There's some incredible textures on the rocks. I think it's actually lava by the looks of it. Um, and what I think we're actually going to be having here is some nice light, hopefully if there's a break in the clouds and most definitely the texture in the rocks will feature heavily, I think, in these images. But where I am at the moment here is in a bit of a breakwater and there's some occasional waves that are coming through here and breaking actually quite nicely. So I think I'm going to set up a shot anyway here with a nice mound that's in front of me um, and there's a nice bit of grass as well within that. So I think it'll contrast nicely with the dark rocks, the white in the water and then the green as well that's here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Let's see how we get on today. There you go. Oh, 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 just, just turn on nice now, boy. I've taken my first shot here now, and what I've done is come right down to the very edge here and taken a couple of different exposures. I've taken a fast exposure, half a second exposure to be able to capture the movement in the water, and I've also taken a couple of long exposures as well. Got up to a minute and 25 seconds actually there with my 10 stop. And what I'm going to do is move along this walkway here more or less to the center of it because then I'm able to get this structure that's in front of me right in the center of the image and then the water going out either side. And like I said, the texture that's in these rocks is absolutely beautiful. And I think it's going to come out really, really nice in regards to the image. On the uh, long exposure, actually, it's quite dark and moody because I've got some dark clouds. Now we are 40 minutes away from uh, sunset, so I may end up getting some nice light if we get a break. There's signs of it, but as always, you can never really tell until it happens and if it happens. But yeah, I move along over here now anyway to get this second uh, composure, to get the second composition. And yeah, we'll see then how that will turn out. I've moved over further now to the center of this, whatever it is, structure. Um, and I think it actually works out better because I can get the water coming out either side and then this uh, very impressive looking stack or a bit of an island, whatever it might be, uh, in the center of the frame. I'm still going now for a long exposure uh, to be able to smooth out that water, get the movement as well inside in the clouds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a nice big wave, because there are a few of them actually to come through and break on these extremely dark rocks that are below me here. I think that will give me similar uh, speeds to the uh, previous shots, but obviously more centrally composed. Um, like I said a moment ago, if the light will come, I think it'll be really, really nice. It would be great actually to have some light bouncing off these rocks. Like I said from the outset, I think they're made from lava, um, but they're really, really impressive actually. And something which is really nice to start us off here on this trip. Um, after this shot, I think I'm probably gonna head over here and have a bit of a uh, explore and see if I can get something out that way. And maybe I'll get some action in the sky then as well to be able to capture a shot at that. Do you want to go around me? Yeah. All right, uh, let me okay. stop this there, so look. Uh, I want to stop the recording on that other one as well. Okay, you're still recording, yeah? Yeah. Going through it, Yeah, if you don't mind, please, bye.
and truly coming down here now but I do have a nice bit of light that's coming at sunset it's probably very difficult now to be able to get a shot because the rain is coming in the direction that I want to shoot and on the other direction over here there's not much really to shoot but yeah definitely uh, interesting here for sunset and how the conditions have changed and I can see some really big waves as well that are coming in so hopefully the rain stops just in time for me to get a shot because I think there's never such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography I've always said that and I definitely think there's a shot to be gotten even in this rain That rain was absolutely incredible. I'm absolutely soaked, but I'm happy that I stuck it out because right behind me here now at sunset, there's a gap, there's a bit of light, there is no more rain, there's a bit of wind as well, so it's giving me nice action within the waves. And what I have here is a number of layers upon layers upon layers of these incredible lava stacks that are here off the coast in Ballantoy. Um, I'm going for a long exposure at the moment here I'm also taking some fast exposures, the normal types, but I wanted to kind of go for long exposure as well to be able to see what type of image that would actually yield. Uh, there's a bit of colour as well on the horizon over here uh, behind me, but it's definitely something that, you know, is worthwhile to get soaked on my first uh, evening here in the Antrim coast. Hopefully, if I can dry out my coat, um, I will be able to wear it again for tomorrow. But yeah, what an incredible start, what an incredible location. and ever-changing conditions here in landscape photography. The light has well and truly finished now, but I still think I got some really, really nice shots, even though, like I said earlier on, I'm absolutely drenched. But what a great start to this Antrim trip uh, on the north coast of Ireland. The sky now is starting to fade as well, but I think I got some nice action there in relation to that. And below me as well here, there's some nice rocks. This uh, shape in these rocks is absolutely incredible from the uh, lava formations. And I think, yeah, the uh, conditions that I got as well, even without the rain, it was still fantastic. So I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlanger Falls.